Well, hello, YouTubers. Dave out in Western PA, USA. I develop right now uh, ion conducting thin films from renewables and uh, also gel electrolytes made from the same type of feedstocks. And uh, I'm applying them to uh, the venerable lead battery. And uh, what we have here, uh, freshly cast lead, and it's in a 30% aqueous sulfuric acid bath. Electrolysis is occurring. And uh, what I have at the cathode is a piece of copper, maybe approximately an uh, inch, inch and a half copper tubing. I have it inside of a uh, power bank uh, rubber casing. You can get these on eBay and uh, they're pretty nice. They have suction cups so you can adhere it if you want to glass or wall but in there is the copper. Uh, it's convenient as an insulator and uh, hydrogen gas is coming off of the copper. It's The uh, protons are being uh, reduced to uh, hydrogen gas but what I'm interested in of course is the production of the uh, anode and that is your uh, lead dioxide, lead peroxide, PbO2 and when I cast my lead I actually have a copper wire that I push in there as a current collector and uh, here we're going to show you the uh, from the freshly cast lead a beautiful film of lead dioxide is forming. I'll let this go. I started with uh, freshly uh, freshly charged 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries and don't you worry about that they're in series so I'm uh, delivering uh, over 3.7 I think I started at 3.99 volts and some people do this electrolysis at uh, one and a half volts but I'm getting the lead dioxide to it here beautifully so I think we can go with the higher voltage now what I will do with this anode, the lead dioxide, that will then be placed with um, a cathode which would be freshly cast lead and I thus am hoping that with a couple of charges, uh, cycles, charge up, discharge, charge up, discharge, with that lead dioxide already on the anode that the batteries I'm generating will be ready to go for bench scale work where I test out the electrolytes. I've let this, uh, this has been going for about a half an hour. So I'll let it go for uh, an hour, hour and a half and just watch the surface of the anode. And uh, what I do is test those out. Here we see uh, a lead battery that I'm testing out uh, a certain gel electrolyte and uh, I'm short circuiting it now because I'm going through cycles and uh, I'll bring this down to about 10 uh, milliamps and then recharge again with a power supply. That's simply to prepare the cells. Then I begin testing with various uh, gel electrolytes and uh, what I will do uh, is after doing preliminary work bench scale with the uh, lead uh, dioxide anode on the left there and on the right the uh, uh, lead uh, the lead which actually will have lead sulfate lead plus two on it um, when I find gels that I want then I'll charge them into these more conventional six volt three cell uh, lead batteries that I get for about twenty dollars each post paid on eBay here I have one running right now a small uh, uh, small pump in water. Interestingly enough, I have found that when I use alum, that's what I have in this cell right now, uh, alum as electrolyte, that I'm able to bring the voltage way down here. I think John Bedini has mentioned that it acts more like a nickel cad that you can really bring it down to almost uh, zero volts or uh, maybe 0 0.25 volts and then recharge it right back up. I wouldn't go doing that with a conventional lead acid battery. But in any event, uh, that's where we're at right now. And instead of doing a number of cycles here uh, to coat the surface, I'm hoping that I can slip that lead 
dioxide right in there with fresh uh, lead and get to work on the gel electrolytes. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.